have an incredible honor this evening. You may not know this, but this is an album called Welcome Home by The Altar Music. <laughs> and this album came out today. This is the debut album from my all-time favorite worship band. Uh, some, peop some young men and women who are incredibly gifted and anointed, who, who are part of our community out there in Tennessee and are just incredibly faithful. Many of the people in this band said yes to the call of the Lord to come and run with us when the church was still in my living room. And, uh, and I'm just so grateful for them, so amazed at what they've put together. Have you seen the videos we've been playing this weekend with the Altar Musics? Music, they're incredible, they're incredible. And um, so this album came out today and I wanna make sure that you know, tonight before you leave, you can go and buy your very own copy and you can play it over and over and over and over again or you can get on Spotify or iTunes or anywhere else that they have CDs, unless you catch one of these. I wanna know who needs, who needs this in the eyeball, come on. Yeah, there it is, incoming, 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 there it is, okay. Yes, yes, get it. Oh, gosh. We've got insurance. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, come on, more than anything, we have one priority here. Our priority is one word, one name, and it starts with J. Does anybody have a, a guess? Come on, there is one name that is above all names. Let me hear it. Come on, every hand raised, every hand raised. I want you to turn your attention right now away from the distractions, away from the deception, away from the shame or the guilt or the condemnation, away from your worry about what tomorrow might look like. And I want you to let yourself get lost in love with Jesus. Father God, we turn our attention and our affection to you. God, over every soul, every heart, and every home represented in this room, I pray that you would pour out your spirit, pour out your love. I pray that you would fill this room with your presence and your power tonight. God, mark us for eternity. Mark us for eternity. Mark us for eternity and release a sound that cannot be contained by the walls of this building. In Jesus' Jesus mighty name somebody shout hallelujah oh come on come on let's get into worship thank you guys
dancing on our grave. to you all the way from Johnson City, Tennessee, bringing a little bit of yeehaw into Las Vegas. Come on, this is so good. You know, we received a lot of emails and, you know, Facebook warriors from the people that hide in their bedrooms, you know, and complain about everything. And they were like, why Las Vegas? You know, how could you do that? How could you send men to Las Vegas? And I think, I think we found the answer. This is why Las Vegas. Come on. You know, and I was, as I was praying the last couple of weeks and just thinking, I was like, man, you know, just because you can curse the darkness, that doesn't make you a prophet, right? But a prophet sees the darkness and says, I'm going to light that place up. Come on, a darkness says, I see the mountain and it's mine and I'm taking it. 
You know, and I believe tonight that, that you came here because you, your heart is to be a kingdom man. You know, because a kingdom man sees, sees a wasteland and awakens a river. Right? A kingdom man sees a desert and plants a garden. A kingdom man sees a valley and speaks to the wind and out, out comes an army. Right? And I believe that a kingdom man takes the ashes of yesterday and builds the altar for tomorrow. You know, and I believe that tonight we can take the ashes of our fathers and build the altars for our grandchildren. Right? That it just takes one man to reverse the curse because a generational blessing is stronger than a generational curse. So come on, just put your hands on the shoulders of the men next to you and just begin to prophesy over your city, over your house, over your church. Yahweh, we thank you that you are awakening the kingdom in these men, that you are giving us the eyes to see the rivers and the deserts. You're giving us the eyes to take the ashes and build the altars. We just say right now, Holy Spirit, blow through this place. Blow through this place. We prophesy to our valleys. We say, let the wind blow. Come on, 30 more seconds. Just prophesy. Let the wind blow. We say, let the wind blow. Let the wind blow.
we were rejected, divorced and divided. But now we're a family, so let the wind blow. You guys sound amazing. Come on. There's nothing like men singing. Man, we got two things we do well at our house in, in Johnson City, and that's worship and that's family. So if you're here, welcome to the family. Come on. You guys want to dance a little bit? You know, how many guys remember the story of the man with two sons? It says, though the son was far off, the father was waiting for him. And when he saw him, he came running. Man, and I remember the day that I was far off and the Lord came running for me and he wrapped me in his arms and he said, welcome home. So I just say to you tonight, no matter where you've been, no matter how far your journey has taken you, welcome home. Come on, let's celebrate tonight.
voice, let's sing it together. This is where we belong. Cause this is where we belong. This is where we belong. This is where we belong. Come on, let me hear you sing it. This is, this is where. Man, and they said men don't dance. Come on. Man, I got some good news tonight. Death has been defeated. Come on. Yeshua the Son, his name means salvation. He reigns forevermore in victory. And it says in Ephesians that we are raised in Christ, raised with Christ and seated with him in heavenly places. You know, and if to be a conqueror means you never lose a war, then to be more than a conqueror means you win a war that you never had to fight. Come on, that's for somebody tonight. You don't have to fight the war because the war is over and Jesus reigns victorious. Come on. Sing a flame. A flame in his eyes, a sword in his mouth, a road drinks some blood. His 
name on his thigh, King of all kings, be lifted high. And I heard the host, and I heard the host of heaven say, Come and see. Well, let's sing Death Defeated.
worship you in all my soul. Rejoice and take joy and take joy, my King, in what you hear. And may it be a sweet. sing that one more time every voice and I love you Lord time may it be time. 